Welcome to our podcast. I'm Rainy. I'm Ben. And this is the Journals of Awakening. I had an idea as I was drinking my water bottle. All right. And then I was thinking of the movie The Lorax, you know? I love it, yes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And how they bottle air. Yeah. But nobody questions. Oh, hair, air. Yeah. <laughs> nobody questions how they can bottle water. So in the beginning, I'm sure we mentioned this like before, but that was like when we were bad at podcasting, so... This is for our new audience. There you go. <laughs> yeah, the Lorax, in the movie The Lorax, he says, pay attention because there's more to the story than what it seems. Now, what it seems is that this guy is bottling air and, like, knocking down trees and shit. Destroying the earth. Yeah. To create a couple bucks, yeah. But the the point for of the it. show, or the movie, is to show that that's exactly what happens in America. Well, in all places, really. Because uh, we get bottled water. Why can't they just make sinks with filters in them? You know, like, why can't every sink have a filter? I just, why didn't the water plant have a filter? Why does? Why do we need a filter at all, you know? Well, I don't know, because we get our, I don't know how water works. Exactly. Jump on a subject you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? I don't know. I have no idea. I want my shoes back I had a pool on. once, and I failed, you know? Really? Yeah. Knowing you, I thought you would have taken care of it all the no, time. No, turned it back. Turned it, tried to turn it into a saltwater pool. And Why did you do that? That way you don't have to put chemicals and shit in it. And just salt So water. what happened? <laughs> Nothing. It just turned green. Nobody took care of it. The vacuum broke. The hose broke to the vacuum. It's just... It fell apart. I'm just pretty It was surprised. a rental. Oh, it just yeah. sounds like <laughs> taking care of a pool would be up your alley. No, no. I don't really like being outside that much. <gasps> I mean, I like to be outside, but no. <laughs> what else does... I, I like my newfound hobby. What else do they bottle up and sell and make us buy, you know? Oh, Everything. What are you talking about? Food, yeah. Literally everything. It's spaghetti sauce. They, put, <laughs> they grow a tree with an apple and slap a sticker on it. <laughs> That'll be $3 a pound if you want the apple. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Like pineapples. Like they just give it infinite life by sticking it in water and then into a can. And then they sell it to us. Yeah. Instead of, you know, us waiting a year for a pineapple to grow. I think it takes like three years. Something crazy like that, yeah. I would. I wish we could have our garden back. Well, it's winter. No, I, we can't have a garden here because there's too much shade. Yeah, it's a shady place, guys. Yeah, we've got a lot of trees in our <laughs> A lot of trees, Which yeah. we never thought we'd complain about before, mm -hmm. but now we can't have a garden. So we have to, like, Well, it's because, like, the one thing... Buy spinach. The one thing we've learned how to do, being in Arizona, is how to live in Arizona. But now we have trees <laughs> we're like yeah. where's the sun at <laughs> and i keep forgetting to buy spinach spinach i love it yeah. it adds greatness to every dish if i had a fish that i could cook in a dish and make a wish <laughs> but no so i would put the fish in the dish and then put spinach with a chef's kish <laughs> <laughs> it sounded right in my brain. <laughs> I'm gonna buy more fish. We have like three. It's been in the freezer for a good? long time. I don't know. Don't they the, have dates on them? The internet says that they're infinitely good. Oh, well, the internet can't lie. So. There you have it, folks. The internet can't lie. Great <laughs> fried taters. Mm. Yeah, potatoes. Those are so easy to grow. And all what are those we talking are... about? Gardening? No, we're talking about... My brain about... is going... Wee! So we are talking mm -hmm. about how the government makes us pay for free things. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Like running water? Yes. It's not free. Go to the creek up the road to get that. What else? We could. Huh? What else? What else what? Like air conditioning. <laughs> air conditioning. They think we Don't need, need that. air conditioned. It's cold out right now. It is cold. We're using we, a heater. We do have a heater. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something wrong here. My stomach said... Grr. <laughs> You're like not on your A-game. You need to no. focus on the pod. I'm focused. 
You're I not... had a short live today, too. I had a 30-minute live. I don't know. He just doesn't feel like working today. That's okay. Yeah, I'm taking a day off mentally. <laughs> 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 Still here. So, I think that it's wild that we are made to pay for vegetables when why can't, like, one neighbor grow a vegetable and then we grow another vegetable or and then we trade. A community garden. Yeah, that you don't have to pay for. That you don't have to pay or for. Or be included in. Yeah. 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 Our stupid community garden. <laughs> you gotta pay. Like having chickens. <laughs> to help. <laughs> My life is so miserable without eggs. Yeah, it does suck. Yeah, we definitely want our chickens. We should go today. I awesome. want eggs. I keep having to use applesauce in baking recipes. That's true. Although it does the job. It does. I cannot eat a hash brown without an egg again. That's fair. It's so aggravating for me. Hmm. And I don't buy corporate eggs. I mean, I have a whole dozen free from Wick. I'll give it to any of you. <laughs> well, free egg giveaway. I mean, One dozen. <laughs> Subscribe right now for a chance to win. Uh, don't, right now. No, don't do that. We can't keep track of who does that. Um, anyway. No, they don't, nobody cares about a dozen eggs, do they? If you do, I will buy you a couple dozen. <laughs> <laughs> because that's... I uh, will not put... That's awesome. Not farm fresh eggs in my mouth. So I will just go without them. And uh, some people... It, what's crazy is... <laughs> wow, that's inappropriate. I put my hand on I've noticed mouth. when I buy farm fresh eggs, even local... I know they're local, so I'll still buy them. But our eggs that we grow... Grow... Have always been the darkest, most healthy looking eggs. That's true. Yeah. Dark yolks, sometimes double yolks. We get a lot of double yolks, actually. No, we only did back the first the year. You don't yeah. get them back after the, that. I said back in the day. So our chickens are almost three years old. Yeah. That's pretty And old. they haven't laid an egg in like six months. Mm -hmm. Because they're not being taken care of. But that's beside the point. Chickens cool. yeah. are cheap. I mean, not really. Well, I mean. No. Because you have to no, the yeah, you you don't you don't get your money back in eggs. Let me tell you that right now. Yes, but you do not get your money back in eggs. But they are beautiful pets. <laughs> if you eat enough eggs, you'll get your money back in eggs. And if you eat your chickens, if you're that kind of person, then it's probably worth it. But I uh, don't. We don't eat chickens. So. I, know. <laughs> I just don't have the heart to do it. I had chicken tenders at a restaurant the other day, and they were disgusting. Mine was actually pretty good, but they were overdone, so they weren't that nice, juicy chicken that I like. No, they were like, literally like half of the meat was not, it was mush it or was something. like burnt. It was Something just weird, yeah, it was way overcooked in a deep fryer. You I know? think it's wild that we have to pay for tomatoes. Now, granted, tomatoes are like, what, a dollar a pound, right? Cheap, yeah. But, that's, I mean, they're so easy to grow. Yeah, but water. Apparently, our library <laughs> has a free seed library that you can just have seeds. And I wish we had a place to plant them. Yeah, know? we just don't have a garden bed right we now. We tried so hard in the backyard to grow, like, tomatoes, and they just never fruited. Mm -hmm. I blame her for that. She wanted a garden in the back because that's where the sun is. But the hose is in the front. <laughs> it wasn't because it didn't have enough water. It was growing fine, but it wasn't fruiting. It needed fertilized, and they weren't being pollinated either. Bees weren't going to it and giving us fruit. Now, I don't like bees, but they're what That's gives true. us she food. She does everything to deter bees, and then she's like, the damn bees aren't helping. No, they don't go <laughs> to the front. They think there's something in the front. It's the laundry detergent on the lines. I'm not the tomato plants. No, I know. I'm hanging clothes, though, every day, and they're smelling fresh right detergent. There's fresh detergent on the Did line. Did you see a bee? No. Okay. It's like negative four degrees outside. That doesn't stop the bees. <laughs> <laughs> they're useless. <laughs> I huh. just, I want to be able to grow my own food, and I'm, if I were to move from this house, it would be into a place with no trees. <laughs> Yeah. I really thought I wanted trees, and I just, I really want a garden. No, it's true, too, because, like, it's cold in the morning, right? It's cold all night, and then um, we wake up, open all the blinds, and open all the, the screen, you know, like, open all the windows up, some sun come in. There's no there's no sun in our house. Yeah. It's at the neighbors and this guy down here's, but 
We don't got sun. No, so our house cold, never yeah. warms up. Exactly. And it's because yeah. we have so many trees above us. Just and I just trees. wish we could chop one down. One would make all the difference. No! <laughs> you leave them trees alone, they're freaking older than anybody This one here. right here. This is the most beautiful one. It's huge. Cut it down. It's been featured in so many videos. It's a pretty tree. I want to grow. You, no. What about you guys? In you the need to move out. <laughs> Those are my trees. <laughs> Do you guys grow vegetables? Right? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> we'll respond to you on his live. <laughs> oh, you're going to be there? What? For the premiere of this? Yeah. Yeah? You heard it, people. She'll be there for this premiere. I will not. Uh, that wasn't the deal. <laughs> I'll be at work. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Damn it. See, that makes me automatically have to be here. I wish we collected <laughs> rainwater. <clears throat> it's illegal. No, it's not. It's illegal in certain places, and it's illegal if done incorrectly, whatever that means. Right? That there's a legal way to do it. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, because, yeah, I've heard of uh, preppers and, uh, you know, like, survivalists that will literally just use rainwater the whole year. Yeah, yeah well, that's what an earth ship house is. Yeah. It collects rainwater and... The water recycles awesome. through the whole house. Oh, it's the coolest house, except it's for rich people. Uh, you gotta, you gotta have the right permits. You gotta have the right materials. You have to dispose of things properly. Yeah. Like it's one of those things where you gotta hit rock bottom to wake up, but you gotta be rich to be able to live comfortably. Yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense. It's a little bit wild. <sighs> but I think we're doing it in the right order here. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, next step's got to be millions. What if... Okay, <laughs> hear me out. What? Rooftop garden. Oh, okay. Those are great. So you know how down the street they're building... I heard you out. This will leak. Oh, because you have drainage systems that fall mm. off the side. So, you know, you put it... Okay. So you build it, right? And then... You water it, but the water itself doesn't, like, obviously it'd have to be, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds pretty hard now. So, now it's overcomplicated. All right. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Rooftop gardening. There's still trees above it. Those trees are tall oh, yeah. as, like, 20 roofs, you know? Just, 20 roofs. I want a garden that you'll take care of. One that I'll, yeah, on the roof's a good place. I'll go up there every day. When we were living in the city. Put one in my studio. We were making <laughs> salsa all the time because we had so much extra tomatoes and jalapenos. And jalapenos, yeah, growing in the yard. Yeah. Tons, tons. Yes, we were tomatoes. giving them away, I squash know. and like uh, pumpkin one time, but the chickens ate it. The chickens found an entire pumpkin in our garden that we didn't know grew. <laughs> we just found like it. saw a patch missing in the grass and we're like what's over there and it was orange we're like what the There's heck a whole it's a big pumpkin that had been, like half eaten we didn't even know it was there what if it wasn't the chickens that ate it what if it was the dog that ate the pumpkin yeah he does eat pumpkins yeah. oh my god he does eat pumpkins <laughs> it probably was the dog i wouldn't doubt it because somebody dug that thing out of the grass yeah. i don't know where that came from <laughs> I do miss getting eggs all the time. Though. Oh, we miss it. And that was in Tucson. Tucson, Arizona has sunlight for days. <laughs> if there was a, a good opportunity where the yard was perfectly sunny and chickens were allowed, I'd be there. Yeah. So I guess the point we're trying to make is, is if everybody just kind of did their part a little bit to help a community, the whole community would thrive. Because eventually you'd have too many people doing too many things. Like, hey, we've already got 17 people growing fruit right now and vegetables. Yeah, like, not everyone can have chickens. <laughs> exactly. You know, we'll be the chicken farmers. Chicken fuckers. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah. I watch Super point. Troopers a lot. <laughs> and on that note. We thank you.